Try this one right here. I think that will hold your weight. This one right here. Yo, you tried that one already. Oh, my bad. All right, that one. Yeah, that, 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 that way. Right. Yep, yep. Whoa, we'll see. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival. It's the cave life, and we're back here in our luscious, lush cavern trying to survive. And thank you very much for the likes and the feedback and the comments on the first episode. It seems like y'all are super excited for this, as am I. It's been a long time coming, and it's good to be back into Minecraft. Um, yeah, so we have a slime down there, big old slime feller, which is great news for us, because we can go down there, chop him up, and get his balls. And it means we're in a slimy chunk, so we'll have an endless supply of slimes. Uh, we need to go down there and get them, and we got to do this safely. Thinking about maybe releasing some water here. Now, I wasn't really planning on recording right now. As you can see here, I have a random um, selection of items in my inventory. And I heard him flopping around down there. So let's, uh, let's go down there and get him. But what I'd like to do is drop some of this material I have in my hands. I was actually in the process of planting some of this stuff. I haven't got to it yet. Like the mushrooms and even the sweet berries, by the way which uh, you guys had reminded me can be planted in uh, in little bushes in some dirt or grass or whatever. So we're going to do that here in a moment, but I got to get down there and get that slime before he disappears on us. Because, yeah, we need that. We need the slime so we can make leads and other cool stuff. So let's let's get, let's go. Let's just open that up. This is probably going to be the fastest safest way down. <laughs> Ooh, we got a skeleton over there. Just don't want to get snuck up on. We should probably grab some water, too. Let's grab a little bit of water here. You never know when the water's going to come in handy. All right, we're going down. This guy's right beneath us. He can't wait to say hi. Whee! Don't see anything too nasty down here. There we go, all the way down. All right, let's go get him. Let's put a couple of torches out, light this place up. We do have to be kind of frugal with our torches. Hi, buddy. Because, wow! Ooh, he's a jumper. Um, because we don't have a lot of access to coal down here. So we're going to have to... Whoa, 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 I didn't place it. We're going to have to be very, 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 very conservative. There we go. All right, we killed the big guy. Now we got the little guys. Ooh, okay. Wow! <laughs> Where did they all come from? Where are these zombies coming from? Did not see that coming. Wow, this cave is cool. Look at that. We got some lava over there. We can go collect some lava, hopefully, if we find, like, a big lava lake. That'd be very nice to have. All right, come on, you. Come on, y'all. All right, we got this. We got this. We got this. Zigging and zagging. Zigging and zagging. And hopefully, we get some slime balls out of this. I'd love to keep one. Oh, look at that. Golden chest plate. Uh, I'd love to keep one of these little guys as a pet. They're so cute. But we'd have to put a name on them so they don't just spawn. Unfortunately, we don't have that ability yet. I'm going to chop you, big fella. There we go. Now all the little, little cute little guys. Look at them. Little buggers. <laughs> They're so cute. All right. Now we got to wipe it all out. Hopefully get some slime balls. So everybody, uh, say cheese or something. Ooh, I missed. <laughs> How did I miss them all? <laughs> there was like a whole flock of them. And I put the sword right between them. Pretty amazing. All right, what do we get? 15 slime balls. That's excellent. Hi, you're late to the party. <laughs> Better late than never, right? All right, so that's excellent. 15 slime balls. That's plenty to start out with. Um, as you can see here, I made a full suit of iron armor. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. What do we got down here? We got some redstone. We got some lichen. Uh, okay, not much over here. Uh, oh, oh, amethyst. Amethyst right there. Don't look at his eyes, though. Not the amethyst eyes. The amethyst behind is a geode. Ho, 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 baby. I'm going to get that right now. Excuse me. Yes, yes. Oh, whoa. We've been followed. We've been followed. We've been followed. <laughs> he just blew up my torch, didn't he? Oh, you big meanie. Yeah, we, we don't want to lose our coal torches. Um, so we're going to have to get some redstone. We can make redstone torches. In fact, it's right here. Let's do it. Yeah, this is not really part of the plan today. I had a, I had plans for working on some farms back at the base. Uh, some mushroom farms and the berry farms. And also making up a composter so we can start composting some of the organic material. We got so much of it. 
but we can't ignore this. Oh, listen to it. I love it. I love that sound so much. All right, so we have many budding crystals here. Let's open some of these up. These are the ones that grow the crystals, right? The ones with the little cracks in them. So we're going to open some of those up and allow them to really sprout. And we'll take some of this back with us too, which is pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been in a amethyst geode, but pretty sure that's how it works. Um, and we can take some of these with us. Let's see if there's a fully grown one. Like that's a big one, I think, right there. There we go. Four amethyst crystals and that one there. And we'll take that one as well. Twelve. So we only need, I think, uh, what is it? Maybe one for the spyglass, because that's really what I want is a spyglass. Twelve is enough. I'll well, grab more. Can't hurt. All right. We got a whole bunch. I think that's good for a start. Twenty. Let's get back, because we have a lot more to do. A lot of more to do. And which way was back? Over here. <laughs> I'm going to grab some more redstone because I want to make a bunch of redstone torches. In fact, we'll make some up right now. And we're going to use those as our markers because coal is, well, very, very rare. We're not going to get it down here beneath uh, zero because it does, not, it does not generate below zero. So I'm going to start using redstone torches to mark our path. And even redstone torches now prevent... Um, what was that? <gasps> Uh, prevent mobs from spawning, so it's no big deal. Might as well grab this gold while we're here. And keep your eyes open for diamonds, because there may be some diamonds around. It's a pretty good gold vein here. Super. Super duper. Uh, more luscious caves over there. I'm going to grab this. I definitely want this. What's coming? Oh, the, ah! <laughs> it's a skeleton. Oh, my. He's a quick draw. Quick draw McGraw. That's pretty quick, buddy. But not quick enough. All right, get that Fulio out. I want those bones. I want those bones. I'm not leaving without them. So let's get these Zambies over here and we'll get them all burned. Wow! Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah. This is not good at all. No, I don't want to hit him with a shovel. I'll hit him with my axe. Bonk. I want to make a, a nice, solid axe so we can do our Viking thing. I love how hard axes hit. Not so good in crowds, but oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, just want to grab those bones and go. Right there. And adios, amigos. And we'll grab this too on the way out. Oh, snip, snip. Snip, snip. If you can grow that back at base, it'll provide a little bit of light. So we want to use other kinds of lighting if possible. Because we're going to, like I said, we're going to have really, really low supply of coal. So we're going to have to get imaginative... Here's some more. Grab it. Grab it. And some more here. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa! Diamonds! <gasps> diamonds, guys! Woohoo! All right! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's get them! I was walking all over them. Diamonds! We made it. We made it. Oh, you. Can't I just do this on my own? Leave me alone! All right, let's get them. How many we got? Three. Okay. Very good. No more? No more. All right. Oh, three diamonds. That's enough for a pickaxe. That's really all we care about, at least right now. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I think I'm going to grab some of that. Yes, I am. Because we can use the lava as... Um, we can use the lava as fuel in the, uh, in the furnace. And that'll burn for a super duper long time. Come on, drop a potato or a carrot or something, bro. No? All right. Let's just drop this water here. Now, let's go down here and get it. And I should eat my last steak. That's it. No more steak forever and ever. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Woohoo, we got the hot stuff, though. That's all that matters. If you guys see any diamonds or anything around and I'm walking past them with all this talking, let me know down in the comments. Point it out. And yeah, we'll go back for it. Because we're going to find lots of diamonds right in these, uh, right in the walls here. Some gold up there. I'm not going to bother with the gold right now. Alright, I'm going to just grab this. Uh, is that lava down there? No. Okay. It would have been way more dramatic if there had been lava down there. Let me grab this too. Liking that lichen. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. That's a sizzle. Okay, now we got to get back up. We can just swim back up. 
All this running makes you real hungry. Woo! Taking fire, taking fire! We're gonna bob and weave. Oh, he's still coming. That's a lot of creepers over there, man. Holy smokes. Let's make some more redstone torches. A whole bunch. We can light this up a little bit so next time we come down, we're not gonna get assaulted. Ooh! Ooh, we got squiddy uh, glow, glow ink sacks. Cool. Yeah, this will um, prevent some of the spawns down here at the very least. Oh, boy. Oh, watch this. This is what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. Ready? Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, oh, he snuck out. Oh, you little. Dang it. You almost had him. Almost had him. Oh, ah. Oh, back off. Back off, spider. I have no quarrel with you. But give me your string. Nothing. Cheapo. Wham! Hey, we got it. We got some strings. Is that the first string we've got so far? Now, we can go to the, uh, whoa! Hey! Nice of you to drop in! <laughs> That's our place up there. Another hole. Uh, yeah, we can always go to the, the mine shaft and get plenty of string there. We can make wool. But we're not gonna get any livestock down here. Maybe a chicken, if we can get a chicken jockey. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Here we go. We gotta go now! Swim it up. Bye-bye. Oh, stuck. There we go. All right. Let me take some of that. All right, now, um, let's get back home. Oh, I gotta grab all this stuff, too. Holy moly. What is going on? <laughs> We're being attacked. <laughs> we got a, a zombie horde coming. But they can't make it across that fall. Oh, speaking of fall, there they go. Bye-bye. Have a nice trip, buddy. I think what I might do is let's grab the mushrooms and we'll get those started. At the very least, we can get them growing. And maybe the sweet berries and we'll come back for all that other stuff. Let's go find a place to put our mushrooms. This looks like a nice spot. Wow! Woohoo! Okay, didn't see him there. Wham! Oh! Ah, I got shot! Shot in the back. <laughs> it threw off my emotion. <laughs> it threw off all my bobbing and weaving. Woo! What do we got? What do we got? Ah! Oh, he got me. That's a good shot. That's a pretty good shot, I have to say. I gotta eat. Gotta heal it up. Heal it up. Go on. Go on. Shoot. We really gotta get a bow going, too, with that string. Ah. Alright. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab some of these right here and right now and eat them up. Free eats. Like a free buffet. Alright, so the mushrooms need, um, I'm going to break this off. Mushrooms need lower light level. I think it's like, um, I want to say like 12-ish. So I think it should be okay here. At least for now, this looks good until all those vines get lower. That's kind of bright right here. Oh, dang it. You mind trying to farm. Finally, I think, I think we're alone. This looks like a pretty low light level. Should be alright for these to spread out a little bit. We'll have a decent supply of mushrooms that we can eat. Okay. All the mushrooms have been planted. Now let's go put these uh, berries down somewhere. We don't want to put them too close to the axolotls because they can do damage, right? So let's find a nice spot away from the axolotls. And this looks good. We just need... Uh, ooh, man, all the new sounds. <laughs> yeah, we just need a little space here. Now, we can use these strategically as well. Later, we can kind of set up like a perimeter fence, right? Because they do a little bit of damage, and they slow mobs down, and we could use them strategically. But for now, I just want to get them started. We'll put them right here on the moss. I'm pretty sure it'll grow on moss, won't it? We're going to find out. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And they can grow together, right? right? Like right next to each other. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, let them grow and just remember where they are. I don't think they need any lighting, but we'll put that there so we can see. Okay. Well, then. Looking good so far. Let's head back home. Back up to our hidey hole if I can find it. <laughs> Everything looks the same down here. Yeah, right over here. 
let's get some smelting going and all the other fun stuff. So I put these lights up here. Well, not lights, but I put vines up here to try to get lighting. It's kind of like inset lighting. I thought that was a pretty good idea, but uh, it's a, a, apparently a low chance. I think it's like one in nine that it'll have a berry growth. So for now, we're just going to have to use the redstone torches. This one grow a berry? No. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just not very lucky. <laughs> And this here, I'll show you what's behind there in a second. Let me just get organized real quick. And then I'll show you some, some cool stuff. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Oh, we got three string. Perfect. We can make a bow. Now that we've had our fun and our little adventure for the day, it's time to do some, uh, some production. Something productive. Although that was actually productive. We got some good stuff, right? So that's not terrible. All right. But let's make a bow. There we go. Got our bow, we got some 10 arrows here that we borrowed from some friendly skeletons, and we're going to give them right back. <laughs> they may not like it, but that's the way it is. Um, let's make a spyglass with our new amethyst shard. And there we go, baby. Now, whoop, 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 get it in the hands. Just going so fast, I'm so excited. All right, this is great, because now we can see far, far away, and we can spy on our neighbors. And we can uh, check to see what's in the walls, like that over there. We get that lapis super duper far away that I could not see with my naked eye. But I shared a can with my new spyglass. Got some iron way up there and that stone, which we need to go get. We need stone to make a blast furnace, in fact. So, yeah, really, really handy, this thing. I mean, I can even see Russia from here. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Check out our mushrooms, see if they're growing. We got some gold hiding out right there. Oh, we got a zombie over here hiding out in the bushes, camouflaged. And we got a, uh, a neighbor over here who, uh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Get in the water. Uh, I guess you can't look at, you can't look at Enderman through a uh, spyglass. I did not know that. <laughs> Come on in the water, pal. It's toasty warm. It's really nice. Yeah, jump in. Come on. It's not that bad. Come on, you big baby. It's fine. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop being such a baby. Get in here. It's nice and warm. He's right there looking. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. Oh, you got to step on that. I wouldn't step on that. Because see what happens? It folds down on you. Silly. <laughs> That's fantastic. This is a great Enderman trap right here. We need to put some more of these little drip leaves down here. <laughs> yeah, step on that. Right there. Yep. It's fine. Really. I guess you're too heavy. Maybe you should drop a few pounds. Whoa, yeah, step on there. It's great. Just step right on it. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's so great. Yep, right. Well, whoopsie. Try this one right here. I think that will hold your weight. This one right here. Yo, you tried that one already. Oh, my bad. Uh, and then this one. This one right here. Oh, where'd you go? All right, that one. Yeah, that, 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 that way. Right yep, yep. Whoa, whoopsie. <laughs> I'm gonna die sooner or later. Oh, he died and he dropped his clay. Unfortunately, he did not have an ender pearl. Oh, uh, dang it. <laughs> well, at least we know we have a new enderman trap here. I like that design. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, that was fun and exciting. So, what to do next? Let's go, uh, let's go make a composter. That's something I wanted to do today. Because we have a lot of organic material around here to compost. I mean, pretty much everything you see around here with the exception of the stone. <laughs> and the clay is compostable all this organic material yeah, all these drip leaves um i'm gonna break these vines up because if they don't have berries they're not very useful we want berries there's a berry i'm gonna grab that one Bloop. man i really need to do something with this flooring here it's just way too uneven and i'll fix that up off camera it's got a lot of work to do off camera oh look we got a berry here we got a berry but that's the wrong one so i'm gonna Pull it off, and actually, we can just use our um, our bone meal, right? Just like that. Oh, that one's got a berry on it. Cool. And it looks like this one does too. Neat. Yeah, look at that recessed lighting. That's so cool. We can actually put maybe trap doors underneath it to stop it from growing. Um, I know we can snip it with the shears, which prevents the vine from growing any further. But I don't think we can snip this one. If we do that, we're just going to get the berry. Right. Yeah, that's not what I want. We can snip the end like this. You hear it? And that will grow no more. And that one too. Um, I don't know. Something to think about. But I don't actually want to snip that. I want these to grow. Because it also provides food. 
Okay, what were we doing? We were going to make a composter, right? So a composter is just a few of these slabs, if I recall correctly. Is it just like that? No, all the way up, I think. Yeah, there it is. Very, very tall. Beautiful. So let's put out our composter right here in the corner for now. And it's just empty. Just an empty composter. But we can put stuff in there like big drip leaves. And this will fill up. There's a, uh, a percentage chance that everything you put in will raise the level by one. And then when it reaches level, I think it's seven or eight, you'll get bone meal on the top. Now, these azaleas apparently are really, really good at composting. I think it's like um, the regular is, I want to say, 65%. And the flowering are one of the highest things in the game at 85%. 85% chance that this will raise the level up by one. And we have tons of azaleas everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I just looked it up. It's on the wiki. The flowering azalea is 85%. The drip leaves, moss, azalea, and pumpkins are 65%. Flowering azalea leaves that we get with shears is 50%. We're going to get tons of that. All we have to do is grow um, some azalea. And we have like this one right here, for example. Well, let's just do this one. See if this will grow. Well, it's not going to grow because I think it's too close to that tree. How about this fella right here? Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so not only do we get oak wood out of that azalea tree... <laughs> But we get these flowering uh, leaves. We can snip these and use these leaves as compost. Or we can just let this tree decompose on its own. And it'll drop, uh, it'll drop these little bushes. Some of them will be flowering. So yeah, the point is we're going to have a ton of organic material to compost living in a lush cave. It's going to be glorious. Oh, by the way, tropical fish... When you kill them, or if they die on their own, there is a, a small percentage chance, I think it's 5%, everything's 5% it seems, <laughs> of dropping uh, bone meal. So we can set up some kind of a trap down here that kills the fish automatically and collects any bone meal that they happen to drop, right? That would be pretty, pretty slick. All right, did we get all of the material here? Not quite. Ooh, hold up, we got an enderman carrying something. Don't look at his eyes. I just want to see what he's carrying. And it looks like clay. Dang it. We need sand. And I'm thinking we can... Oh, whoa. I guess I looked at him. I didn't know I looked at him. <laughs> just barely, man. Come on. All right, come on in. Water's fine. I'm going to go through this whole routine again. But I'm going to try to chop him up this time. Make it a little faster. Got him. And he had an enderpearl. Ha <laughs> ha. Fantastic. I wish he had sand, though. There's no sand down here. I thought there was sand in lush caves, but I was wrong. There's no sand at all. It's all clay. <laughs> so getting sand could be a problem. You might have to trade for it. Uh, anyway, all right. Let's let's uh, let's get reorganized here. And I think, actually, we're going to call it quits for the time being. Oh, wait. Let's do one more thing here. I want to put... Um, I don't really want to waste my flowering azaleas in there because we can we need those to grow. Uh, the oak oak trees, right? So let's just throw that in there, and then, oh, there it is. There's our bone meal. So pop it out, and huzzah. Very, very nice. We will throw the um, the flowering azalea leaves in there, though. Plenty of those. It's not as high of a chance, but better than nothing, and we have, we're have we going to have tons of it. Okay, I think we are done here for the time being, my friends. I'm going to do some off-camera work. Um, I do need to collect some cobblestone up here. Up on level, well, somewhere around level zero. Yeah, there's a bunch right here. That actually does generate just a little bit below zero. So we will not be cheating because we're not supposed to go over zero, right? But we're going to need that to make stone, smooth stone. Um, and then we can make the uh, we can make the blast furnace. Oh, here's some iron right here. Yeah, I'm going to go collect. And let's put some light over here. How about some lovely... Oh, too bad. Oh, the enderman. Uh, he's gone now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the lichen provides a little bit of light, too. Just enough to see by. All right, I think that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like on the video and uh, comment, feedback, tips and tricks, all that fun stuff. And we shall see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.